Hi everyone and welcome to the next in our needle felting picture card packs and today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely simple yet very effective daisy. If you've seen the, um, the spring card pack that I did with the bunnies and the sheep and then the rainbow one you'll know that we make a picture on a piece of felt and then I've got one of these trifold cards which we're going to make the picture fit in the window like so and then just simply fold the trifold over to hide the backing and then there you go you've got your lovely um, daisy felted picture. So what we will need for this session is um, a trifold card. I've got a few different sizes. This one's a bigger one. So you just obviously need a bigger piece of felt. So you'd need a trifold card, a piece of felt for the backing. I've got a selection of coloured walls which I'm going to use. Um, I've got my foam pad and my needle and again I'm just using a medium needle for today and then I've also got this which I hope you can pick up on the camera it's it's called Angelina it's the Angelina fibres and we're just going to mix a bit in with the wool roving just to give it a bit of sparkle if you see here on this one I've just added a few strands and it just gives it a bit of a different finish to what we've done previously okay so first thing I'm going to do let's move that out of the way I'm going to get my trifold card okay and I'm going to cut a piece of the backing felt ready to do my picture on. Now I know that that fits approximately in the card so I'm just going to use this green and I'm just going to cut a bit of felt. It doesn't have to be exact or neat because we're going to be felting onto it. Okay so I've done that. I'm going to move those over there and I'm going to bring my foam block into view. Okay, so you can choose whichever colours you want to for the daisy card. Okay, what I've tended to do is use one and then just add specks of a second colour just to give a bit of a more interesting background. So I quite like that with the blue with the purple. Then there's the pale green with a few shades of lighter green. And there's just a few different shades of blue there. This one I just did yellow because I just thought it stood out nice with the white daisy and just with the yellow. Okay, but I think I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a bit of blue again. So just like we did with the, um, the spring card pack for the sky background. Okay, I'm just going to get just a small section of the fibres, spread them out all over the, the felt backing and I'm just going to simply felt that into the, the back. Okay, now if you remember you just need to go over all the way over. Okay, you want to try and make it as even as you can. So I just use the needle a bit to fluff out those bits of fibres. Okay. Right, I'm going to keep lifting it up because look, as you can see, what happens is as you're felting it sticks into the foam. Okay, so you just have to keep lifting it up. Okay, 
I'm just going to get a bit more to do this side. Simply fountain it in there. Okay, if you do get holes appear, you can just use your needle from an angle and just try and push those fibres to clear, uh, to, yeah, to close up the, the hole because the fibres just push in between the gaps. Okay, but we can spend time on that as we've done. I don't need quite that much there. So peaceful today. Lovely sunny day. Perfect spring day with the hope and the promise of warmth and summer on the way. Okay, so I'm just going to felt that all the way over. Okay, and if I decide to, I can always add more bits. As I go along okay now it does look a little bit bare in patches at the moment but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second colour so I think I'm going to go for a bit of purple again and I'm going to use even less of the purple because I want it just to sort of almost look like when you've painted and the, the paints begin to mix together so I just want to do that for the background and again I'm just trying to evenly spread the fibres rather than just have a big clump and get another little bit and again if you can see on this one I just just use tiny tiny pieces really just haven't stuck that down but just to give that different effect. And then I've got, actually got a turquoisey blue in there as well, which looks quite nice. But for now, I'm just going to do this sort of like blended purpley, bluey colour. Spread those fibres out a bit so it's not one big clump. Notice I'm keeping lifting it up so that it doesn't become so stuck to the foam that I can't get it off. Okay, so that's beginning to look more even now. Okay, and again, you can work on this for as long as you want to really so if you've got those gaps or holes appearing you can just push the fibers from an angle just behind the gaps and it will close the fibers it will close the holes up with the fibers that you're pushing behind okay right so i've done that bit now i'm going to make sure that that's looking okay in my card okay yep so that's quite a nice back yeah i'm quite happy with that like i say i'm probably going to work a bit more on that to get rid of the holes if you can see that there's some holes appear just from where i've gone through to the felt but again if i just go through at an angle let me hold that up so you can see. You should be able to see that you can push the fibres almost to fill the little holes that have appeared. But again, you can work on that and spend a lot more time neatening it up. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a bit of this Angelina fibre. Okay, 
So now what, oh, that's quite a lot actually. You don't need much of this at all. Now what you can do is you can use this in various ways. Okay, so you can just sprinkle it over there and then just simply felt it in. Or you can make um, like a sheet of it by ironing it and it will stick together, which is quite nice as well. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to add a few fibres just to, I'm just going to try a different needle, not that needle. I'm going to try a finer needle. There we go. And basically those are just going to begin to stick into the fibres that I've felted already. What you can do as well, in fact, if I show you this, if I just get some more of those fibres, if I can just mix it, I can just mix it with the, the wool before I felted it. Okay, and it all becomes part of that wall roving then so look, that looks quite nice so let's felt that in so there are various ways that you can the, you can use the angelina fibers it's just having a play and seeing what suits you best really okay so might look a bit of a a blob and a mess close up when you first do this and you think oh gosh what's going on but I promise you when you put it all together and then when you put it in the trifold card with the frame it'll look super okay right so I'm going to leave that there now okay just double checking again it fits in my frame there we go so that's looking pretty already I can trim these excess bits and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my daisy that's going to go in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to take that out again. I know that that's the middle, so that fitted okay where when I placed it in the frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the petals. I'm going to do one going up and then one going down. So we've got vertical one up and down then I'm going to do horizontal one going right and one going left and then that will leave us room to do a diagonal in between each vertical and horizontal okay so there'll be um, one two three four five six seven eight petals all together okay so two horizontal left and right two vertical up and down and two diagonal okay and to do that I'm just going to just take a piece of the the natural fibers again I'm just going to begin with my fingers just by rolling it into a petal shape okay and I'm just going to felt that in there be very gentle because you're working close to your hands here okay and then just like when we did the sheep and the the bunnies and the rainbows if you saw those just go in from the side just to shape the petal okay now what I tend to do is get all the petals on there and then go round and shape them Okay, but I'll just show you that one. There we go. So I've got one of my petals done. Okay. Right, so I'm going to repeat that for the vertical one going down. Go 
going from the side. When you're going from the side, it just pushes those fibres from the edge into the petal so it kind of neatens it up a bit and it will look a lot neater obviously when we've got all the petals just gently use the tip of your needle to to move them without bending your needle if you bend the tip then the likelihood is it will just snap so just gently use it Okay, and I'm going to do the horizontal ones. Do another one. Because I'm sure you will be able to spend a lot more time doing this. But I love the rustic, natural effect that needle felting gives you with the loose fibres sticking up. Okay, right, so now I'm onto the diagonal ones. It's quite nice because it's picked up a bit of the Angelina fibre in there as well. Just giving my daisy a bit of a sparkle. in what you're doing here. Okay, I'll do one more. Oop. Turn my picture around, it's a bit helpful. Also, you don't want to use too much wool when you're doing this, because otherwise it'll, you'll end up with blobs and you'll end up felting it for ages. It's better to use a bit less and then we can add more as we go. So like that one's needing a little bit more. do is I can just go round all of those petals and just begin to neaten them up, push the Angelina fibre in a bit further. from the sides just to define the petal shapes a little bit more okay so there are my petals done and the temptation is just to sit and poke and prod them and carry on felting them and then I'm just going to get a little bit of my yellow again you only need a tiny tiny amount and I'm going to put that in the middle of my daisy and then felt centre circle and 
And there we go. Then, as I say, I could carry on felting these bits in. Okay, if you've got any loose bits of the Angelina, you can just trim them. Okay. And like I say, you can, if you wanted to, you could put a tea towel over this and you could give it an iron to flatten it down a bit more. Okay, but I quite like the rustic-y look, as I said. Okay. You just want it to look nice and and finished and tight, tidy-ish. Okay, so I'd probably spend a bit more time going round felting just the edge of the petals. Just make sure that they've all got roughly the same amount of white wool. If there's that, see that little bit there, it's looking a little bit bare, a little bit bold. So just a few fibres, if you roll them, there we go, and it just covers up that bowl patch, if you like. There you go, and then I'd carry going on all the way around here. Okay, if you get those holes and you want them to disappear, just go in at an angle. Very careful of your fingers. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Now, where's my trifold card? Is here. So, I'm now going to place that there. You can see where all the fibres have come through the back and the bits of Angelina. There we go. So I'm happy that that's in the right place. Okay, so what I am going to do now is I will just glue or tape down the edges of the felt backing. Okay, then fold that one over, fold that flap over and stick that down, which means you don't see all the back of the the felted piece and there you go you have got your felted card those bits of angelina again those flyaway bits you can just trim or you can pull them off and there we are got a nice sparkly spring card which you could send someone say hi hope you think you're thinking of them wish we could see you or you might just want to make these and put themself and um, put them in a frame for yourselves they make lovely pictures you can make a collage of a few of them um, and just have fun right what i have done again is put a pack of the wool fibers together that you'll need with um, a felting needle and a couple of trifold cards I will put some of the Angelina fibres into your pack as well this time. So you can add a bit of sparkle if you would like to. And there will be a piece of the felt for the backing of your picture. OK, the, that will be available on our website, Mindful Crafts, in the needle felting section. Any questions, give us a shout. If you like what you've seen, please click on like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.